picture this we have a desktop that we need to troubleshoot we'll need a keyboard mouse and a monitor at a minimum that takes up a lot of space and also has a lot of cables dangling around what if i told you that all of those cables can be replaced by just this thing this is the TechX Artisan Open Interface Mini KVM. While it has the word KVM in the name, it's not like the typical KVM that we usually expect. We have a video talking about KVMs from top to bottom, so you can watch it at the top right corner there to know more about it. This Mini KVM though is a device that uses the host device's keyboard, mouse and display to control the secondary device. It's a surprisingly versatile device that I believe most people who deal with headless computers like us will want one in their arsenal of tools due to how tiny and portable it is. Yet everything is open source and they even encourage you to tinker around with it yourself. So let me show you an example. This is a headless PC and I'm not sure if it works or not. So I have to test it out. I just open up the mini KVM case and then connect the HDMI and USB cable to the headless PC either USB-A or USB-C works, then connect a single USB-C cable from that mini KVM to my host device. In this case, I'm going to use it with the ASUS ZenBook S16. I have already downloaded the software from the Open Interface website and this software is available for both Windows in both installer and portable versions. There is also a Linux version macOS version which is available on the Mac App Store directly and even available for Android devices too. Once I launch the app which shows you how each of the devices should be connected, it will just work out of the box. This mini KVM supports up to 1080p 30Hz which I think is perfectly adequate enough to do some troubleshooting on a device like this or just to change some settings or monitor the progress of something on a headless computer whatsoever. Plus, there is another USB-A port on this mini KVM which we can swap between the host and target device too. We can also attach a USB stick to this USB port to transfer something like drivers to one machine to the other. There are many more use cases other than just this one. On the product page, they did state all of these usages and uh, whichever the case may be, it's a hassle to bring an extra monitor, keyboard and mouse around so yeah, just, just use your laptop or your phone in that matter. Speaking of the phone, we can just download and install the APK that was downloaded from the website and it just works instantly, just like the PC and macOS versions. I'm just kind of shocked by how seamless everything can be. Now, the Open Interface Mini KVM also encourages tinkering with the devices as well. And that is why this project is so open source to the point that the entire PCB, all of the components used and the source code are available on their GitHub repo. This thing is so open source to the point that it is also certified by the Open Source Hardware Association. This mini KVM also has extension pins for us to access and that is why we have this extra orange piece. I'm really having a hard time to open up this cover but once you get it out, you can see those pins. They are meant to be hooked to another board for extra functionality and you can also 3D print this exact part yourself since the SDL is available on their GitHub repo as well. The other black cover on the opposite side is held by two screws and this plate is also 3D printed. We can take out both covers and the entire PCB if we want to. And this is the part of the video where I'll be commenting a bit about Open Interface as a company. Yeah, the product is great and it works as it says alongside with some extra future expandability. But this product is very technical focused. I know this project was made top to bottom by a bunch of engineers because the website and product design and how the information is presented, uh, yeah, it, it just feels very engineer to me because I'm someone who also studied engineering last time and this resonates with me so deeply. I also appreciate this kind of simple website design without any marketing fluff. I think they are also the same type of engineers who appreciate function over form. Now, the whole mini KVM looks like it's put together in quite a scrappy way, but it's actually a very high quality product since the middle part is made out of metal. And if the two sides break, then just 3D print another in the filament of your choice. 
If you are looking to get one for yourself, then it seems like the only way you can get it now is through the crowdfunding website called CrowdSupply. It is available in two different variants, either in the mini KVM itself for 89 US dollars or the entire kit like the one that we have here for 115 US dollars. The orange cable is actually a 20 gigabits per second cable by the way. It is convertible back to a USB-A header but it will drop down to 10 gigabits per second only. I mean we don't really need that high of a bandwidth for a mini KVM like this but uh, we can repurpose this cable to transfer files to an external SSD for example. The other cable is also convertible between USB-C and USB-A header and I just love this. It goes to show that the guys on the OpenTurface company actually knows and just included all of these cables for our convenience. There is another additional cable, this one, that converts VGA to HDMI and this cable is for legacy support. If you need it, then the price for this is 19 US dollars. So, that is all that we have to share about the OpenTurface Mini KVM by TechX Artisan. They are a bunch of engineers making really unique stuff and making them open source so other engineers can build on top of their work. I love this kind of collaboration efforts. And since the Mini KVM is a product, we also have to talk about other competitors in the space as well. There is something called the Jet KVM that does KVM over IP through a small device. Not as small as the Mini KVM but still small enough. And that works similar to the Mini KVM and while we have not tested the Jet KVM yet, I am really not a fan of the Mini HDMI port. And yeah, that is all about the Mini KVM. If you have any other questions regarding this tool, then do hit us up down in the comment section below. I do believe that this thing will be used by us in the studio quite a lot because we do troubleshoot a lot of PCs before actually filming a video. So this thing will save us a lot of time and effort by you know hooking up a display, keep on a mouse and whatnot. Yeah, it's gonna be useful because we all have multiple laptops in the office. Laptops. And another one, laptops. So yeah, make use of your laptop and control your target device with all of these laptops. Yeah.